Uh, oral questions, questions. Oral questions. Questions are right. Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, yesterday the bloc voted in favor of another tax increase by the Liberals to take money from Quebecers and give it to the centralizing government of this Prime Minister. And the Prime Minister thanked them literally after the vote with a thumbs up. Is that the Liberal Bloc Coalition? Less money for Quebec home builders, less money for Quebec entrepreneurs, less for doctors and entrepreneurs, and more for the federal Liberal Colossal Government. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, our government understands the importance of fairness. We understand that a teacher should not pay higher taxes than a millionaire, than a multimillionaire. We also <sighs> understand that our decision will give $3 billion to the province of Quebec, additional money that the province can use to invest in health care. But the Conservatives don't like health care. They don't like investments from, by the government. Leader of official opposition. Mr. Speaker, this tax increase supported by the bloc takes money away from doctors, forcing Quebec doctors to move elsewhere. The regions of Quebec will have fewer doctors during a cost of living crisis. The Bloc has voted to tax farmers more. The Bloc has voted for a tax on home builders. How is it that the Bloc and the Liberals want to tax Quebecers more to give more money to a big centralizing government in Ottawa? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Quebecers understand the importance of fairness. They understand that it is very important for a nurse to not pay higher taxes than the ultra-rich. They also understand that we need revenue to invest in health care, in daycares, and the province of Quebec needs that revenue as well. That is why the province has decided to do the same thing we are doing federally. Bravo. 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 Chef de l'opposition. Nine years ago, the Prime Minister promised that taxing and spending more would make everything fair. Since then, Canada's had the worst growth in the G7, the worst in Canada's history since the, the Great Depression. Housing costs have doubled, rising faster than any other G7 country. So 76% of youth believe they'll never be able to afford a home. One in 10 people are at a fee, food, eating at food banks in Toronto, where there are 256 homeless encampments. Haven't the Liberals learned the taxing away doctors, taxing away home builders, taxing away the entrepreneurs who, who make paychecks is economic wackoness. The Honorable Deputy Prime Minister. Yeah, by putting us in trillions of dollars of debt. Mr. Speaker. We all Nailed certainly it. learned something yesterday. After eight weeks of dithering and evasion, we which side the Conservatives are on. They had a chance to be very clear and say a teacher or a welder should not pay tax at a higher rate than a multimillionaire. But they just couldn't help themselves. At the end of the day, the Conservatives are always on the side of those at the very top and always against working people. That's what we saw yesterday. We contribute more to the interest of our debt than we do to health care. The member mentions welders. Welders start businesses. Among the 300,000 small businesses that are targeted by this tax, according to the minister's own published documents. So those welders will pay a 66% tax on their investments. The same welders that build the homes that we're going to need. I'm having trouble hearing the question. I'm here having trouble hearing the answer. So I'm going to ask honorable members to, to allow the questions and answers to happen. Hey, at least he didn't mute the mic. Well, 
from the top, the Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the member mentions welders. Welders incorporate. They start small businesses, welding businesses that build things, welding products that go into apartment complexes in which people live. So when the member taxes the small businesses that help us build the housing, they not, she not only kills jobs for those welders, she actually kills housing when we are right. in a housing shortage. How could the minister possibly think it's a good idea to tax home building in a housing crisis? Crisis and farmers in a food crisis. <laughs> He's fucking dumb, that's why. <laughs> she got some loose screws. I'm ask for the client in return, the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, well, for one thing, the Conservative leader should get his facts straight. Of course, what we are talking that's homophobic. about is a two thirds inclusion rate. Liberals don't give straight facts. Two thirds tax rate. But he never bothers to actually get his numbers straight. What he homophobic again? Doesn't bother to do is to actually stand on the side of working people. He has been faking his support for workers, but yesterday workers learned where he really stands, and that is not with them. That's right. That's for sure. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, taxing farmers during a food crisis, taxing home builders during a housing crisis, taxing away doctors during a health care crisis, and taxing small businesses during an economic growth crisis is economic vandalism right. and right. nothing less, Mr. Speaker. That is precisely why this minister has given us the worst growth in the G7, the worst growth for the next 40 years projected for the OECD, and 256 homeless encampments in her hometown. Isn't that the re predictable result of her disastrous policy? The, this doesn't affect millionaires as much as it affects everyday people. One good investment. Average income All the money goes to this wicked witch. It is $58,400. The average person in Ottawa, Carleton, could only dream of earning $250,000 in a given year. But the Conservative leader thinks his average constituent Are you should dumb? pay tax on their hard earned salary at a higher rate than someone who is earning more than $250,000 in capital gains alone. Whose side is he really on? What is she talking about? It's not for... What? You make a good investment and all that money goes to these morons.